In this video, we will be discussing about the neurohistochemistry. It involves the methods or techniques used to visualize neuronal structures by using histochemical stands like methylene blue, silver nitrate, gold sublimate and many more. On the left, we will be having the methods followed by structure it stands or visualization and then we are going to see the type of reagent we will be using for these methods. First of all, we have the basic dyes. These dyes are attracted towards negative charged structures like DNA, RNA and in case of neuronal structures, these basic dyes stands the nasal bodies. Nasal bodies are ribosomal rich body, so basic dye targets it easily. And in the basic dye method, we have the reagents like methylene blue, crystal violet, theonine and hematoxylene. Here in this diagram, we can see the nasal bodies which have been shown in the dark blue color when standard with basic dyes like methylene blue. Then we have the metal impregnation method where metals are used to stand the structures. First method or technique is the Bielchowski technique which is used to visualize no fibers by using reduced silver nitrate as a reagent as shown in the diagram. Second is the Bodian method which is used to visualize no fibers also by using reduced silver nitrate as a reagent and copper. Third is the Nauta silver staining technique which is used to visualize the deteriorated axons like in case of valerian degeneration. And in this Nauta silver staining technique we are using the reduced silver nitrate also as a reagent. Fourth one is Gleese technique for visualization of no fibers, axons and dendrites by using same reduced silver nitrate as shown in the diagram. In this diagram we can see the pontine region of brain which shows complete loss and breaking of darkly stained fibers. Fifth one is pink hemer technique used to visualize degenerating neurons using reduced silver nitrate as a reagent. And last one is Golgi method used to visualize neurons by using silver nitrate as a reagent which have been shown in the diagram. Now moving towards the myelin stands which are used to visualize myelin sheath. First we have the LFB Logzol Fast Blue used to visualize myelin sheath. Basically, this LFB stands the phospholipids around the nerve premises. Second is the clover barrera method. It is a double staining technique where first we use nasal stain followed by LFB. That means we are staining neurons first and then followed by myelin. And for this method we use reagents like LFB, PAS that is periodic acid shift and hematoxylene. And third one is Vigod Paul method used to stain the myelin sheath by using iron hematoxylene as a reagent. Now moving forward towards the glial stains, where we have the causal gold sublimate technique used to stain neurogilia and astrocytes by using gold sublimate as a reagent. Second is the del rio hortiga which is used to visualize glial cells by using silver carbonate as a reagent. Furthermore, we see there are pathway tracing methods for which we are using the histochemical stands to trace out the pathways. First, we have the anterograde transport, where we use radiolabeled leucine in the form of 3H leucine, which is injected into the soma or perikaryon, combined with autoradiography to trace out the anterograde transport visually. Then we have retrograde transport, in which horse radish peroxidase is injected near synaptic terminals. The marker is internalized and transported to the perikaryon which can be visualized easily. So these are some methods and techniques used for neurohistochemistry to visualize the neuronal structures. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.